Hey y'all, today, a little video of how I make my own lead weights. Making your own lead weights is, uh, is really pretty easy, very economical. You can make any weight you really want. I really like river weights. Um, the reason I really like the river weights is they hold flat on the bottom, but they hold up really well in current and they don't slide around like egg weights. Now, you can buy molds for just about any weight you can think of. So the molds look like this. This is a mold. This is the Do It brand. Let me open that up for you. And this mold comes in four sizes, one ounce, one and a half ounce, two ounce, and three ounce. And basically, this is how it works. The mold comes out of there. So this is the mold. You gotta have the mold, and you have to have a way to heat the lead. This is a hot pot. Um, I think that's actually the brand name, hot pot. Basically, these two little elements right here, those two little rods, heat up this little pot, and that melts the lead. So you're also going to want leather gloves, and you're going to want a respirator, guys. You do not want to be screwing around with metal fumes. There is something called metal fume fever. It can kill you. Don't want to screw around with it. Be safe. Um, definitely take precaution. So let's show you how this is done, y'all. Let me get my respirator on. Give me one second. All right, guys, respirator on, gloves on. Get your weights, like so. I like to lower mine in. This is already hot, and I don't want it to splash. So I'm using that spoon there. And you just put it in, and the heat is gonna melt those guys pretty quickly once this is preheated. All right, so while that's melting, you wanna get your your mold set up. These are the little rods that create the hole. All right, super important you don't lose these. They're made out of copper. I just said don't lose them. Put them down. So there we go, get it in there. Now I like to use two pieces of wood with this mold because the rod tips hang out the bottom like so. And let me show you all the, the lead here. Let's see if I can get y'all a little closer on this. So, once it's melted down, you're going to see all this dirt in here. That's the impurities. It's called the slag. You just scrape that stuff out, y'all. Use a spoon you're never going to use again. You're going to want to use probably a stainless steel spoon because this is very hot molten lead. And lead melts at a lower temperature than stainless steel. And just keep scraping this slag off. Okay. Now, I'm using a plastic table, so I put cardboard down to hold this. You can see how quickly that stuff hardens. Lead hardens very quickly once you get it out. Let's give that a few minutes. Okay, so I stepped away from it. I am outside. You want to be in a well-ventilated area. So I've taken my respirator off. I'm going to be okay. I'm not melting that much lead, but definitely be safe, y'all. Uh, so once we get all that slag off of there, we're just going to pour it down in these holes. And you need to pour it quickly, but carefully because the lead hardens very quickly. So if you pour it too slowly, it'll harden right in the funnel tip. You won't be able to get the liquid lead further down because it's hardened and closed the gap. So you got to pour it at a pretty steady pace, which is why I like this little hot pot. It's a really good, easy size to control. Um, I've seen guys use like big cast iron skillets and stuff. The skillet's so heavy that it's very hard to pour into the mold at a timely manner. So I really do suggest that. The mold I believe I got for about $35. The pot, I think I paid 60 for it. And the lead, the lead here, this is an old cast net of mine some lead weights I found laying around. You can melt all these down as well. Uh, or you can go buy lead. I believe it's called an ingrit. Uh, it's literally just a block of lead. You can go buy them at a lot of tackle shops. You can buy them online. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I've heard some people get lead from tire shops. I guess wheel balancing uh, pieces. I've never done that, but I hear you can do it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and pour this now. Yeah, it's done. Respirator back on. So I'm gonna get the last of the slag off of here. Comes off in a little film. Put 
Okay. Here we go. Now, clamp this shut, y'all, and pour in at a steady pace. Very nice. Let me get the camera on the other angle. The other side, maybe that's a better angle. Let's see. Let's see, just want to pour it in slow and steady, y'all. There we go. So give that about five seconds. And you just open it up. And there's your lead weight, y'all. Just like that. Take that off. Now you will see, these are gonna be very hot. That's why you want the leather. You pull those out. And you're gonna want a pair of pliers to pull off this little piece. And you melt that back down. Quick, little way to make your own weights. Just pull those out, break these off. Boom. And there we go, y'all. So you will see how some of these have marks on them. Some have a little bit of a crack, little deformations on them. That's okay. Those deformations are really because of the speed at which I was pouring and the amount of impurities that were still in the lead, but it doesn't matter, y'all. Those are gonna work just fine. They're gonna last you a long time. In all honesty, you're gonna lose them in a snag before they ever deteriorate. So there we go, guys. Quick little tip on how to make your own lead weights. So one other thing, guys, if you are not sure if you actually have lead, like if you grabbed your old cast net, some cast nets come with stainless steel, um, stainless steel weights. But if you take something like a spoon or a knife and you can score it like that, that's lead. Lead is very soft, just like that. So that's how you know if it's lead. If you can't do that, then you're probably looking at steel. And um, I don't know what the heating temperature is of steel, but you're not gonna heat it up with a hot pot, so make sure you got lead.